Korea and Poland's high-tech and infrastructure firms have struck over 30 deals on future cooperation, including on reconstructing Ukraine. The business forum was attended by some 350 firms, with President Yoon seok yeol and his Polish counterpart Andrzej Duda at the head table. Our presidential correspondent Woo Soo Young reports from the Polish capital. South Korean firms and nuclear power plants and smart cities have penned agreements on rebuilding Ukraine at a business forum in Poland. As the three governments establish a collaborative system to support post-war reconstruction efforts by Kyiv. Attended by President Yoon Togo and his Polish counterpart Andrzej Duda on Friday, some 33 memorandums of understanding were reached between South Korean and Polish firms and institutions, spanning not only future vehicles and batteries, but also construction, IT, aviation and infrastructure, with some ventures focusing specifically on Ukraine. Poland is Ukraine's most important country in Ukraine. It is an important part of the development of the war. This comes after Yoon and Duda during the summit agreed to ramp up cooperation on Ukraine's infrastructural development with an MOU between the two governments. Seoul is already looking at some 52 billion US dollars worth of potential public and private initiatives. According to President Yoon's senior economic secretary Che sang -mok, Ukraine made a request to the South Korean government in May to provide some 20 billion US dollars worth of recovery support in over 5,000 projects. Seoul is currently working to provide governmental assistance accordingly through construction pilot projects to restore vital facilities such as schools, housing and hospitals. Chair also estimates around $32 billion of potential private sector deals are in the works, particularly with six MOUs signed Friday on building small module nuclear power plants. Korean firms are also looking to rebuild airports and railroad facilities, along with smart cities in Ukraine, to go beyond simply restoring infrastructure to upgrading them with advanced urban systems. South Korea hopes to utilize its technology and own developmental experience that achieved the miracle of the Han River for Ukraine's reconstruction. From the second half of this year, we'll start formulating a smart city master plan for Kyiv and Uman. In order to facilitate such recovery projects, the economic secretary said South Korea will offer institutional support, having effectively set up a three-way system with Poland and Ukraine to develop and promote recovery projects through various intergovernmental agreements. Seoul will also open a Warsaw-based office to promote rapid information exchange and cooperation between the public and private sectors and offer customized support for firms. It also looks to provide broader and swifter financial support through official development assistance and loans. While Russia's invasion is still ongoing, the UN administration says that Seoul will continue to make meticulous preparations for Ukraine's post-war future, something that President Volodymyr Zelensky has called a common task for the entire democratic world. Oh Young Airang News, Warsaw.